Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel, I'm Chandra Lynn and this is going to be your general energy reading for whenever it comes to you, it's timeless. But we are in June, so it's a continuation of June energy. Remember that it is general, so take it how it resonates with you in your life and your situations and your experiences. Disregard the rest and um, yeah. It's also really, really more energetically based around um, your inner work, your self-worth, your self-love. So everything will be focused around that. And thank you so much for the likes, the subscribes, the comments, and the donations. They mean the world to me. And so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get started. I really haven't picked up anything yet. Um, but I have been really just focused on being able to get outside to do readings because I prefer being outside. Um, and I love, yeah, I love being outside. And the weather's nice and the neighbor's dogs have finally shut up. So that's where we be at. You guys got the shaman, trust in higher forces. So I want to say with that chill-pilled warrior energy, um, from your last reading, it feels very much like, um, even if there's nervousness in it and uncertainty and like, uh, okay, like I'm like, it's like embracing the energy, but it's new. So it's uncomfortable. It's unfamiliar. Yeah. You know, it's almost like if you're used to being outgoing right now, you're kind of keeping it inward because it's not knowing the energy. It's unfamiliar is what I'm being told. On the bottom of the deck, we got spring with we'll see your seeds grow. Um, so all I'm, all I'm being shown is basically um, something that you have repetitively done for a very, very long time. Something you, it's almost like, um, okay, it's okay. So what I'm being shown is like, if you were in the garden, you've been planting your garden every year, right? And you were used to it producing a certain way. But because this energy came in and because you chose what you chose, in a sense, and you're choosing just to trust in the energy and kind of go with the flow, it's changing. Um, it's almost like going through, like seeing you choosing this energy, seeing you choosing to go with the flow, and then you're um, like you go right back out into the garden, same old, same old. It's kind of like habit, you know, like you brush your teeth in the morning and at night. This is kind of the same thing. So you planted your seeds, but what I'm being told is that um, the amount of harvest that's going to come is going to shock you. And it's something super, super... I'm, I'm being shown that it's two different things kind of go on. One thing is almost uh, it's uh, am I being shown two things or am I just being shown one? I'm kind of confused on that. Okay, so it's actually just kind of coming down to one thing, and it is no, because there's one thing being removed, but one thing being added. You've already added it in a sense, but you're it's I want to say like it's something that you were wanting to add, um, but it just happened in a way that you weren't focusing on it. So it's, you intended to add this, but you intended to do it a different way than it actually happened. So you accomplished it without realizing you accomplished it. Let's, I want to get some more cards. Um, but yeah, I'm being told to pay attention to things li like, 
right now because it's kind of being shown to me. Ooh, joy. Yeah, pay attention because even the seeds coming up out of the ground, even their sprouting is going to be healthier and more abundant, right? Joyful. Okay, so that's directly coming in with the new. So joy, whoop, whoop, got joy coming in. And we got the aphids going out. Thank you. All right, struggle. Okay, so you got struggle in the south, which means this is your powerhouse right now. This is kind of the energy that's taken on the dominant um, push forward. So choosing choosing this this is a struggle that makes sense as especially because it's like okay so the shaman right the shaman you're in you're in contact with the higher forces you were able to allow yourself to vessel in those higher energies you allow yourself to ascend into the higher energies but but before you're able to do all that miraculous stuff and bring back information and healing and you know all of that good stuff you have to heal yourself first and it is it is it is a pain in the ass it is it is kind of it's an exhausting struggle because it's almost like um, almost in a sense I want to like call it like a trick right all I'm being shown is like you Sagittarius up on the mountain right you are up on the mountain where your true self-aware higher self uh, eternal soul all of your conscious like you're everywhere but the mountaintop being up on top of the mountaintop is almost like where you were supposed to go to you know get your your goodies <laughs> this rig's going really weird anyways what I'm being shown is like somehow you got into a mudslide you're down at the bottom of the mountain like what the hell's going on and then you hear yourself from way up on top of the mountain like what the fuck you doing down there <laughs> get your ass up here this is where the ice cream joints and daiquiris are. <laughs> In the West, we got anger. Okay, this very much is coming off as a an ascension in your soul, okay? Because, you know, when, you know, you're yelling back and forth at yourself from up and down right it, it does it causes you get kind of angry because then you realize you got to swim all the way fucking up there to go and collect your the rest of your cool fucking self right and it's just like Jesus oh the fuck <laughs> did I get this far low let's get another card <laughs> I got it right here thank you Ooh, creativity Okay, so this is in your north. This is, okay, so if you can see the upper cup, all right, with the shaman, and the cards are ringing out like this, right? Before you can be the shaman and share all of that source, healing, love, energy, information, you have to heal yourself. You have to fill yourself. Now here's the thing, you are always full. Believe it or not, you are always full. Not just whether or not you like what's in your vessel, that's a whole nother story, but you have the choice to choose. And so that is what I feel like, that is what I feel like you're kind of going through. It is a struggle, you will be angry, you will be angry at others, you will definitely be angry at yourself because it'll be like, what the hell did I allow, right? Um, ooh, you got abundance right on the bottom of the deck with with the spring and see your seeds grow now what I want to say 
about this reading really quick before we go any further because it is very easy. I well, if you're here and you're still listening and you're understanding the words that come out of my mouth, you're pretty, I want to say that you're already used to going ahead and getting your shit done, going ahead and getting you taken care of, um, going ahead and making changes that you need to make, right? Um, but this one is, I want to say this one is a struggle and this one does, it's very, it's very exhausting because you're not used to being nice to yourself. You're not used to holding compassion for yourself and you're definitely not used to putting yourself first. Um, but that's pretty much what you're, you, you're, you're at right now. And the most amazing part about this reading says that that all of the BS, all of the pain, all of the suffering, all of that shit could be gone if you choose to go ahead and swim back to the rest of yourself, call the rest of yourself back. It's not really meant to be a struggle, struggle. If you notice, right, this fish is, is kind of going up a smooth embankment, all right? Those fish don't always have a smooth ride. Like, they have to go up freaking ladders. They have, to, like, the, it's it's crazy what these fish have to do to in order to get back to where they're going to spawn. But you are being told that you're already seeing the abundance, the new growth, the, the more abundant growth. Then you also got the confirmation card of abundance underneath that. And what that says is like if you were asking for all your heart's desires, then you are going in the right direction. This is where it all is. You will start to collect it on your way, but you have to always choose to continue to focus on you and your your spiritual path whatever it may call for you at the time also please remember that it's not like a once and done type of thing um, different aspects you will revisit them several times because it's like when you change a tire on the car you don't tighten the like each lug nut one at a time all the way up you have to spread it out you know and so that is kind of what you are going to also be experiencing or if you are experiencing and just didn't know you know um what kind of a how to describe it or put a word to it or whatever <sighs> let's get some messages because i don't want to pull any more cards you guys can keep speaking Okay, so I want to say, um, yeah, it can be a very smooth, it can be a very smooth process or it can be as much of a struggle. You're definitely going to feel it. It's not easy to, it's, it's like, mmm. It's like after you've been driving for a while, right? You get you kind of you kind of get used to it, and um, and you kind of get used to going to a certain speed, and then all of a sudden you're back in the city and you're having to make a lot of stops, and you're having, like it's that's what I'm I'm being shown is like every time you're, in a sense metaphorically, going down the road at your steady pace, and then all of a sudden you recognize like holy crap I'm doing something that I have been intending to change. Well, when your awareness of it comes in, that's when you have to stop, focus your intentions, and pull back what it is that you wanted to replace that old with, and then you actually have to force yourself to start doing the new. And that is where all of the exhaustion comes in, just in that catching yourself, stopping, pulling what you want, in changing what you were doing to what you want to be doing. Once you get doing it, even when you're new at it, it's the energy comes back to you. It is 
that period of time, whether it be 10 seconds to five minutes, will feel like an eight hour marathon sometimes. Just giving you a heads up, you're probably already experiencing it. You're probably like, what the fuck is this? I'm just no good at this. No, like you're really great at it, trust me. We all get to the what the fuck stage all the time. We're growing, we're growing, you're growing. Good job, you're doing amazing. I guess we're gonna read all of these. Powerful, you can. Light, rest, balance, mastering. The energy that you're going into, the energy that you have chosen to go into, so technically we'll say that it's already yours, right? You're just like accumulating it, you're rearranging it, you're getting the feel for it, you're just kind of on your path there. Um, I like to think when people are like, I'm, I'm healing, I like when people are choosing to heal, I like to say that you're already healed, now you're just in recovery. But this is very much some kind of a, a more of an, a, a spiritual awakening. If you're already on your path, then you're very much coming into more. Because um, you got the rest card, right? Um, which is all part of this. Which is all part of the process because you got to keep yourself balanced. You've got to keep yourself going enough where you're not being stagnant. You have to rest yourself enough to where you're not burning yourself. You have to stay nourished and hydrated because this takes a lot of energy. If, if you're experiencing stronger headaches, please drink more water. Um... water 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 and eat whatever it is that your body's wanting you to eat right now like you're having cravings for something but don't deny yourself that craving don't go out and get like the the uh like the the fat's been removed or whatever let your body have exactly what it's asking for once you give that to your body and you get into a good rhythm with your heart <coughs> Once you get, once you and your body get more cohesive together and your body starts seeing that you are going to give it what it is asking for, it will operate better. Um, and if you, it will no longer hoard, your body will no longer hoard. Um, so, but yeah, your definitely abilities are coming in. Right, so keeping balance, make sure to rest, make sure to keep yourself hydrated because you got powerful, mastering, and light, which are just kind of really like, uh, you know, um, power words for the energy workers in a sense. Um, you can and accept this message is for the one on my channel right now that is just kind of like. But they're all going to think I'm crazy. It's almost like the idea to, for what I'm picking up, <laughs> which you're just like, holy shit. Um, you didn't, like, you never expected it. Like, it, you thought it was cool in a sense. It's like, oh, yeah. Um, but uh, definitely... Definitely new to you. Definitely completely new territory. Um, so if that is the case, if you're just coming into all of this brand spanking new and you used to look at energy workers or readers and 
all of that. Like they, you know, like holy crap, them are some weird fucking people. Um, reach out to them weird fucking people right now because we love you. <laughs> and and if if you're confused and need any kind of clarity or understanding about what you're going through, like. The weird fucking crazy ones are the ones that are going to love you and be compassionate and considerate and hold space and understanding as you come to understand how awesome you fucking are. And Sagittarius, we're going to leave it at that because I really enjoyed this reading. It was very much a beautiful reading. Oh, snap. Don't allow anybody don't allow any energy to interfere with your process going up to get you know um, this journey to collect yourself up on the mountain to, um, it's almost like there's nothing blocking your path if it seems like it is there's an illusion it's an illusion and don't focus on it because if it is truly there, then there is a way to get around it quite easily for you. This process is, is really designed to make it really as easy on you as possible. Most of the struggle comes from um, us just like refusing, refusing to accept our internal guidance and, and intuition and all that. And now I'm, I'm leaving it. Like, that's it. If you're still here, I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me in my garden for this reading. It was amazing. I love you guys.